What is up my planting people? My name is Lithius and welcome back to Roots Ready. Uh, today is a video that I've been waiting to do for a long time. Today I'm going to be giving you a little bit of an update on this plant right here. This is the propagation of my Anthurium Magnificum crossed with a regal. So I can't quite recall how long it's been since I propagated the Anthurium Regal, but I'll put a little bit of a timestamp somewhere over here. Um, but it was definitely around last year. It was huge and it was beautiful, right? So um, then I decided to take the plunge and I decided to propagate it basically because the plant came with this huge stump right over here and it was growing off of it. Uh, just, I think it was on this side actually, because you can see where that cut was. Um, and I, that plant is doing absolutely fantastic. I spoke about it in my previous um, April favorites video. So definitely go have a look at that to see what it looks like now. Um, and I just left this little boy <laughs> over here, this bad boy, um, just propagating. It had its whole, all of the root system. Um, the, 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 the cutting also had a little bit of a root system, but that's really coming now. And, um, and this one, yeah, was already established. So I wasn't too nervous about this one. Um, it took a little bit of time, maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a month, uh, just over that, uh, before it put out its first leaf. And the first leaf was surprisingly about this size. So quite sizable, about the size of my hand. Um, and it was, it was going strong. It was, it was doing really, really well. And then this one came in uh, not too long ago, although it's really sort of battered and bruised now. But when this leaf came in, then the other one sort of fell off. What I have noticed is that this plant uh, has no root system of, of its own. I mean, like this offshoot here has no root system on, of its own. So it's really depending on the chunk. That's great, you know, honestly. But today what I want to do, I just want to do a little bit of maintenance on this plant um, and just get some more pond in here. I've now got some more pond. And just to get the pond, just to just to ensure that it's touching the base of this offshoot here, because what I really want to do is um, get this plant uh, to develop some roots of its own. I want to propagate it again and hopefully grow another plant off of this chunk and see how many times I can do it before it runs out of steam. So um, I'm going to do that today. Um, I've also got a couple of other plants that I would like to do a little bit of work on in this video. So it's a little bit of a bonus for you guys. But yeah, just a little bit more about this plant, how it's been faring in my care. It's been really easy, probably too easy, because I kind of, I, I, I forget about it in all honesty. <laughs> I really do. It just does its thing, which is probably why um, when I was moving it from one part of this greenhouse, from the top shelf to the bottom shelf, yeah, it got battered and I was like, oh, you know what? But anyway, the, the plant is still going strong. So um, I was quite surprised actually when it lost that first leaf because uh, my other, um, the, 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 the other cutting from this plant has held on to three leaves plus an inflorescence. So uh, that's been really impressive. So I was a bit surprised, but maybe the reason for that is because, you know, I just need to just stay on top of the care of this plant a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping to, to propagate this again and yeah maybe uh trade or sell it on to somebody else that could that that really loves this plant um first i'm going to just remove all of the moss that's on the top now this this moss that i'm using is absolutely terrible it's not it's not good it doesn't really hold on to much moisture uh i, I don't even know it doesn't even feel like it's real moss i know it is but it just feels really almost like preserved moss as opposed to sort of natural moss that you could actually stand the chance of regrowing if you put it in the right conditions. I've done that before. I've actually got some moss um, growing uh, in a little um, little Ferrero Rocher uh, <laughs> plastic tub. And I'm hoping just to start a little moss garden with that. Um, and that's going really well. But with this stuff, it's just, it's just trash to be honest with you guys. All right, so I've removed all of the moss and I'm gonna show you what I'm working with. Can you see that? So that's the chunk. That's how much of the chunk is exposed, which is not great, but uh, especially if we wanna 
develop some roots on this bit here. So let's do it. So I've got my uh, my huge bag of juice upon it over here. It's an 18 litre bag. Oh, very heavy when it's full. Uh, the poor postman, when he dropped it off, he was like, what the hell is in this? Is it rock? So I was like, yes, yes it is. <laughs> but anyway, okay, cool. So you've got some uh, upon my makeshift uh, little paddle thing over here. It's just a bottle that I've cut into this shape. It works well. Recycle, guys, upcycle. So there we go, just gonna pour a little bit more along the top here. Just even it out with my hands, like so. All right, that's great. And that's it, I don't think I'm gonna reuse that moss actually. I'm just gonna leave it as is uh, and maybe get some, definitely get some better moss than this. This this moss was actually just not great. I think it definitely is a reptile moss um, and I don't think the intent is for it to be used with plants, but. Nevertheless, there we go, guys. That's the update on the Anthurium Magnificum cross with the Regal. But as I said, I've got some extras for you. I've got something else. Um, I have a propagation of an Anthurium Regal that I've been working on for the past couple of months. Now, this is the latest and greatest. Le Ooh, look at that in the sunlight. Ooh, damn. Oh. Damn. Yeah, that just renews the, the, the love for this plant. Um, I got this as just a, just a chunk um, and I propagated it, had it sitting in like a high humidity dome for a long, long time. And um, yeah, and it, it has two shoots on there actually. So this is one shoot with two other leaves that are not looking their best. There you go. These are the other two, right? So, yeah, so that's one shoot. And there was another leaf around this size, just here where this other shoot is. And now it looks really, really sad. This was a leaf, but it's like completely dried up. So what I wanna do today is separate these two plants, basically. Um, I want to get this one off of the main chunk and in its own sort of, just on its own root system. So I, I don't think I'll take it out of here i might just leave it in there for the time being and what i'll do is hopefully what that is going to encourage this this chunk to do is to start to push all of its energy into keeping this bit alive and then i can hopefully have two anthurium regals so that's the plan for today stay with me let's see how we get on so i'm going to first get this plant out of the pond uh, and then I'm going to just chop it off and see what we're and see what we're working with. I am just going to first pour out just as much pond as I need to. I don't need to pour out the whole thing. Um, I'm just going to try to hold onto the chunk and just let it come out. Give it a little bit of a squeeze. That always helps. good okay a little bit of a shake it's looking real good what is this right okay so you can see let me take this off you can see from here that this this plant has a really really good root system really really good so that's got more than enough to sustain itself now and this one i noticed what it does have is it's starting to develop its own little root just there near my finger okay so if i get that replanted back uh, up and in its own thing then hopefully I can um, promote more roots out of this one and then it can just start to do its thing. So I'm gonna cut that off. But I have noticed though, just a little bit of, there's a couple of white patches here, like white dusty patches. And I'm worried that that might be a sign of mealy bugs. So if that is the case, I'm just going to have a look at, <laughs> have a real good look at the roots and in the pond 
to see what's going on here because that wouldn't be good at all. I had mealy bugs in uh, in one of my Hoyas. You guys can't see my face, but I had mealy bugs in one of my Hoyas. Uh, and they, those, they, they seem to be quite prone to mealy bugs. Um, root mealy bugs, that is. Um, so, anyway, a little bit worried, but I will take care of that. I'll give these uh, plants, today's the watering day anyway. I'll give them all a dose of water with a bit of hydrogen peroxide in it um, to hopefully just kill off any of those bugs. So I'll be on that very soon. So yeah, I've got my uh, my trusty little pocket knife thing over here. I'm just going to try to give that a nice clean cut right over here. That's kind of where I'm going to be cutting from. Uh, and I'm just going to try to get my knife situated underneath. Ooh, there we go. I lost one root <laughs> or a piece of it, but that that's gonna be fine. So there we go. There we have it. <clears throat> the regal, freshly cut. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, cinnamon powder on this, uh, and it should be it should be a okay from there on out. I've also got a little bit of hydrogen peroxide water over here that I'm gonna be using for. <laughs> I would, that it was intended for another plant, but seeing as I'm a little bit concerned that there might be some mealy bugs in this, I'm just gonna soak it here for a second. Just leave it in there for a bit. And yeah, I'm not sure if this is mold, if it's a sort of, not mold, like a, a sort of fungus. Can you see the white patches on here? Oh, the sun is so bright today, it's really, Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, I think it's zooming in, but there's like little white patches on on the chunk. Now that can either be a fungus or it can be mealy bugs, and I'm not sure. It's one of the two, guys. It's one of the two. I'm, I'm hoping it's uh, I'm hoping it's not mealy bugs because <clears throat> fungus I can easily deal with. Um, mealy bugs not so much but you know what? I'm just gonna get this potted back up I'm not gonna use all of the pond that I did last time whoops okay and get that kind of centered and I'm just gonna put the pond back on up in this just again so that it touches that root that new root uh and can then start to grow back into the substrate so there we go there you have it that's the regal it looks <laughs> it looks kind of sad in here to be honest just the smallest nub on this massive chunk uh but as i said i'm going to just sort of um give this a good watering with a little bit of um, hydrogen peroxide water probably diluted about i'm using the three percent one i'll probably dilute that to about maybe uh maybe what what is it like two cups of water to one cup of hydrogen peroxide to make it kind of strong enough um give them all a, a, a good watering and just um just let the the, the plant sit in the hydrogen solution those that are in semi-hydro anyway, let it sit in there for a couple of days. Then I'll change it out with some water. I find that really helps. Hydrogen peroxide is also great for uh, giving your roots a good boost because of the reaction it's got. Um, it, it, yeah, just because of chemistry, basically, um, it helps your roots to take up more oxygen, which is um, very yeah beneficial to the plant. So yeah, it's, it's good. The only issue with hydrogen peroxide is, is that it kills a lot of the the good microbes in the soil or in your substrate as well. So I find that after I use it, um, I start to develop maybe different types of, um, of you know, like mold and fungus and stuff like that. But that, that can be easily treated with a fungicide. All right, so I've got the, um, there we go, the Anthurium regal over here. I'm gonna put it up into just this plastic cup for now uh, until it gets really, really well established. And then, um, yeah, I'll get it into a bigger pot. 
I find that plants, especially Ethereums, really tend to take off uh, in pond. So I don't think it'll be in here for too long, but just, just for now, uh, we'll get it in here. So as you can see, it fits, which is great. So as always, a little bit of pond at the base. Just very careful, the roots are so delicate. So that's it. It's looking all right, doesn't it? Oh, just oh, in the light, it looks absolutely phenomenal. But that's it, I've made a couple of holes in the bottom of this just so that it acts as a, as, um, a bit of a drainage hole. So I'm using this uh, coffee lid um, and I'm just gonna use this as the reservoir thing. It looks kind of cute, doesn't it? It looks kind of cute, but there you go. But then hopefully uh, the plant will take off. I'll just leave it here for now. And then I'll get the, uh, I'll get the reservoir in there shortly. So the final plant I wanna work on, if I can find it, that is, where is it? It's disappeared. <laughs> All right, I found it. It was under the table. So the final plant, again, I spoke about this plant in my April wish list, and I promised to do a repotting video of this. It's a really small plant, so I didn't think it, it warranted like a whole video by itself, because yeah, that wouldn't, I don't know how exciting that would be for you guys. It's been quarantined for a long, long time. So um, yeah, so I'm just gonna, as you can see, it's in moss. So I'll be making the transition from moss to, um, from moss to pond, because yeah, just most of my Ethereums are in pond, so why not, right? So yeah, I'm just gonna, I don't know what it looks like under here, but just gonna very carefully take it out. Now this is what I call good moss, right? So you can see the difference. It's, it's, like, it's like brightly colored. It looks, it looks the part, it holds onto the moisture. The other one is like brown and ugh, it's just not very good. So I'm just gonna try to peel off as much of the the pond, sorry, the moss as possible without damaging the roots. As you can see, this came, this was on a chunk. I got this already um, with like a plant on it. It hadn't, didn't have loads of roots on it, but still it, it, it was it was doing well. Um, and since then it's given me this new leaf, which is just great. <laughs> and I'm hoping that when I transition it over, it will give me more. So yeah, I'm just gonna take my time and remove as much of the moss as possible. And then again, I'm just gonna leave this in the hydrogen peroxide water just for a couple of minutes. Again, just to kill any nasties. Although I've had this propagating for a long time, there's been no issues. I have seen that it did have some springtails in there and yeah. Uh, although springtails are very beneficial, I rather not bring them any extra into my home than what I need to, right? <laughs> I hope that makes sense. So there you go. So I'm gonna go get this cleaned up. That'll be more than enough time uh, for this plant to sort of, uh, yeah, just sit in the hydrogen peroxide water. And then when I come back, I'm gonna repot this back into the same pot um, and into this cute little, mug here that my mum got me uh, it's from Barbados uh it's very cute and it just happens to fit this this perfectly so that's going to be my plan today all right so again as always we just want to get a little layer of pond in the bottom of this as you can see this is bubbling away hopefully killing anything that's <laughs> that we don't want how frustrating I forgot to put my little wicking things uh, in here. Basically, I've, I've, uh, I measured this out and uh, this pot won't exactly reach um, the bottom of this, this pot, this cup. So I need to have a wicking sort of thing going on just to bring that water up to the roots. All right, so we're gonna go again. So now that's all done. Again, you got to be very careful with the roots. And backfill. And boom, bang. See, look at that. Looks great. You got my little wicked things in there. And the best part is, look at that. Look at, ooh, wait. <laughs> Sits absolutely flush in the cup. Ah, oh, guys, just have a little sip. <laughs> I love this so much. But there we go, I think that's everything for today, guys. Um, I'm gonna clean up 
I'm sure you don't want to see that. That's a really boring part of the uh, of repotting. Here's the cleaning up afterwards. It's never as simple as you would think. But I am going to clean up and get these plants back where they need to be. Watered with, again, as I said, with hydrogen peroxide water, just to make sure that anything that's in the soil that shouldn't be there is gone. And that was it. That's my Sunday morning, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's an update on the Ethereum Regal um, Magnificum uh, propagation. Uh, as well as just a couple of extra bonus things for you guys as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know uh, what you think of this setup. I think this is my favorite one for today. I think it's going to be really, really cool, especially as it starts to grow more leaves. It definitely can't stay in here forever, but I wish it could. But what can you do? And then I've got this regal over here looking gorgeous. This leaf is still going strong. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day. And as always, keep planting.